Hey, everybody, it's Prisco Hino. So um, I wanted to show you um, some of the methods that you can use to record your podcast. I mean, uh, if you looked at my video from uh, Thursday, you saw that you can easily do it on your phone. Um, if you're sitting with your partner, you can do it with two phones, and you'll have two separate recordings. You could even do it by recording your phone call, but that's going to give you phone call quality. You really don't want that. Uh, another way to do it is obviously to work with Michelle. So Michelle is going to use GarageBand, and uh, you did see my GarageBand video probably too. Let's open up GarageBand here. And um, actually, here's a little podcast opening that I did. Hi, this is Fresco Kinos, and welcome to the Mass Communications Podcast. This podcast accompanies your 15 week AC171 class at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Hey everyone, it's Fresco Kinos. Welcome to AC170. So you saw I had a little stinger here that opens the uh, show up and that uh, then goes into my long kind of lecture. <laughs> I'll spare you that. But um, what you could do here and what Michelle is going to do is in GarageBand, open up the preferences, go to the audio and MIDI and select two microphones, right? So you can actually have two separate tracks recorded at the same time, uh, discrete audio for each of the participants. So you'll have one track for the host, one track for the guest, or if you're having a conversation, your co-host, and then you can edit right in there, no problem. So that would be a, a great way to do it, and GarageBand gives you excellent quality. Um, you can do this uh, if you can have your friend over to, to your place, you can do it in uh, you know, the privacy of your own home with GarageBand. Um, you need two mics, kind of, to do this. If you have two extension mics, that'll work really well. Um, you could even do it on two laptops, you know, where you're recording face-to-face -face and recording it that way, so that'll work too. Um, so let me show you another technique, and uh, you know, Brianna asked about um, doing it remotely. You definitely can. In fact, a lot of podcasters do. So what I'm going to do this time is open up Zoom. And uh, you know Zoom from the pandemic, right? Everybody used it for work. And um, so the idea is to create a new meeting. And let's do that. So here's a meeting in Zoom. And over here you have your microphone icon. You can choose various microphones here. So um, you can see that I'm using my built-in mic. You can certainly use the video too. I'm not going to do it now. I just want to confuse it with this video. But um, you can certainly use your video at the same time. And then if you go uh, over here, here's the record button, right? So that will allow you to record the Zoom. And then uh, over here you have your participants where you can invite um, your partner. So one person would kind of be the host. But both people would be able to record too. If you wanted to do it that way, you're going to do that actually for the video one. So you can have two separate video shots. But for this one, you only need the audio, so you really don't have to do that. So if you click the record button, you'll get a message that the recording is in progress. being recorded. And um, I'm going to actually stop this recording right away. Recording stopped. Just so you see the convention of how Zoom then uh, prompts you after the meeting to save the recording. Um, so then what you want to do is go to the preferences in Zoom. So here are the preferences. Uh, and then you have uh, a lot of stuff. We'll go through a little bit more later. But in video, for instance, you have um, various ways to make you look better, lighting-wise. Uh, you never want to display the name when you're doing a real video because you can add that later and it'll always be there. Um, so there's not much going on there. In audio, you want to go to this uh, suppressed background noise. I leave it on low. Uh, it should be quiet, your environment already. So. Right now my fan is running, so you're probably hearing that. And then uh, high fidelity music mode you want. Um, you really don't need stereo audio, but I definitely want to make sure that these defaults are pretty much checked here. Okay, and then if you go to the recording section, there's some critical things to set in there. Okay, so in the recording section, what you want to set here is... Um, Record a separate audio file for each participant. And then optimize for third-party editor. That will allow you to edit in Rush or Final Cut, uh, iMovie. And add a timestamp. I don't think we want that. We don't want anything that's going to be on the screen. 
um, for video game screen share. Uh, so everything else is good there. Okay, so the idea would be that then you could uh, let's actually end this meeting and see what happens. I'm end the meeting. And after the meeting is over, Zoom will then prompt me for where it's going to save the file. Okay, so you can change that to a different location. I have it on my desktop here. It's going to save a file. And here it is. Open up for us. It's got um, the um, video married to the audio here that you could use. And remember, if you're both recording this later on, you'll have a shot of the two people. You'll have two separate videos that you can share when you want to edit the video interview. Um, for now, we're going to look at this folder here. This is the folder that allows you to have both audio tracks. So the audio record folder, I didn't have anybody in the meeting with me, so you're only going to see one track. But if you do have a participant, you'll have both tracks of audio there. So then those tracks can easily be imported directly into GarageBand. In fact, I should be able to do it actually right from here. So uh, I'm actually going to just minimize this for a second. All right, I can actually take this track to hear it. And um, I'm going to actually stop this recording right away. Okay. That was the recording I just made, and it's internet quality, but I should be able to bring it directly into GarageBand here. So you see that is? Bring it right in there, and I've got that recording there, and I can edit it because it's very short. So I'm just going to delete that now. I don't need that. So um, there's another technique that you can use here too. Um, that will uh, eliminate the bad quality but still give you the intimacy of the video conference. And that would be to actually um, have each person record their own voice in GarageBand during a Zoom call. Does that make sense? So you'll be using Zoom just you know for the video and the, the intimacy part of it, and then you'll be using GarageBand um, to make a discrete recording of your voice, and then you can share that with your partner and uh, edit it. In fact, both of you will be able to do an edit when you share the voice recording. So you'll both get a chance to actually record, and two editors could mean two different actual uh, recordings, two different finished products. So that might prove interesting.